Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and today I'm working on a yellow page spread for my rainbow journal. And I actually started doing this, thought I was filming, and wasn't. So all I've done is I've taken, this is one of my pages that I had colored with yellow inks and put gesso on. And then I took some watered down Mod Podge and I put this napkin over it. I've also got another piece of yellow paper that at some point back I was playing with and did some yellow inking and gessoing, and I put down, same thing, Mod Podge with a leftover bit of the napkin. So that's what I'm going to work with. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to use a nail file and I'm very lightly going to go over my napkin. Um, it, I, I'm just, well, I'm doing two things. I'm uh, distressing, in a sense, getting any extra bits of napkin that perhaps didn't get glued down. And by doing this, uh, I'm also roughing up the surface a little bit so the Mod Podge doesn't cause stickiness. So my napkin may tear away a little bit, and I'm okay with that, because like I said, I, I'd already torn around the napkin, and so I don't mind it having a distressed look, and I'm not rubbing hard, so I can see here there's, oh, all along there. I missed a good bit. Might actually need to tear some of that away. So by doing this, I'm like I said, I'm I'm helping to rough up the Mod Podge a little bit so it doesn't get sticky and I'm distressing at the same time and <clears throat> Like it or not, by doing this, it, uh, well, I did a crummy job of Mod Podging those edges. Uh, it, uh, well, I did a crummy job of Mod Podging altogether. It kind of makes it become... Uh, more of the page instead of just being on top of the page. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust my plan a little bit. I'm losing too much here. So... I'm all about distressing and losing some of it, but I have to use my Tombow Mono and don't want to lose all of it. And apparently, I just did not pay enough attention to my edges. All right. Let's put a little bit up here just to secure that a little bit. All right, that's a little better. So, 
if done correctly, that works really well. And now I've just roughed up the uh, dad gum. Talk about a flop of a project. I guess everybody has to have one of those days, but I just completely botched the edges of that. Okay. So that page with the pretty yellow bird and this little bit of sunflower, and that to me looks like a, what's it called, a black-eyed Susan. And then for over here, I wonder if I did any better on this one. Feels like I did. Let's see before I get too carried away with myself. That seems to be holding much better. So I did a much better job with that one. And and like I said, I or started to say, I'm not rubbing, I'm not pushing hard on the nail file. Okay, now for this, what I want to do is I want to tear this, tear around this, and have this be a side tuck on that page. So, I'm going to start on this edge. tear around this side. And I'm leaving some of the yellow on the edge. bottom. And let's see what we've got now. Okay, I probably still need to lose a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to ink around 
my edges and this is just going to be like I said a roughly torn side tuck so really simple but I think it adds a nice, just a little something different. Especially for me, it's because I normally am so precise with stuff, or try to be, that, yeah. Okay, so all I need to do here is, let's see, glue down the edge. Across the top. And across the bottom. Okay. Okay, and then let that dry. And even though I've already stitched around this page edge, I may come back and stitch down that. I'm gonna let it dry and then see. But now we've got a nice little side tuck there that matches the opposite page. And again, I don't know what I'm going to do on this page. If anything, I may leave it just with the bird and just add stuff in here. I haven't decided yet. But that is a page for the yellow part of my journal. So until next time, everyone, please be safe, stay healthy, happy crafting, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.